Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create images from text, hyper-realistic images from mere text using an AI tool that can give you anything, be it a human text image or a human or anime or anything related, animal images or wonderful images that you can see something like this. You can see a preview of what people have um, have created with this wonderful tool. You can see hyper realistic images that you can use in your content creation. Okay, they are very easy to create with just one click. And one of the best part is that it uses different kind of models to generate these hyper realistic images, and then you can um, actually uh, enhance it, enhance the kind of prompt you give it. You can just give it a snippet of what you want and it can help you to enhance it and bring in a better version of what you want. So let's start from the beginning by learning how to access it. This AI tool is called Imagine Anything, okay? Imagine Anything. You can go ahead and search it on Google, imagineanything.ai, or you can come over to your browser and just type in imagineanything.ai and it will bring you over here. Now, these are the type of colors, um, the type of images that you can generate. And these are sample images, like I've explained. You can just uh, click around and you'll be able to see all of them and when you click on a particular image it is going to show you the kind of prompt that generated that image as usual so you can copy that and use that as an inspiration for you to generate your own and there are so many things you can do with this particular image that has been generated for you now let's go back to the beginning and let me show you where you can type in things now the first thing you can do is to come over to the prompt area description prompt let's say a picture of a monkey holding the card i love dr rashid let's say i want you to generate this you have the option to go advanced where you can check out the different model when the different models that they have the default one is flux and you can increase the step the guidance the interval i don't touch anything at this point but then you can try different models. You can try diffusion models and play around with some of these sampler features. You can check in and, and change some things, but I don't, uh, or you can try the ideogram model if you're interested. But the best one of them that I've tried is Flux. So let's keep it at Flux for now, at default. And then you can go ahead. Uh, if this is what you want, a picture of a monkey holding the card I love, Dr. Sheet, you can go ahead and generate. Okay, so let's go ahead and see generate. Of course, you have to log in. Uh, you can log in with your Google account. Okay, so let's say this is the um, a picture of a monkey holding the card. I love Dr. Rashid. Now you have the option to refine the prompt. Okay, so you can refine the prompt over here. You can click and it will just help you to refine it uh, directly. And you can see uh, this is still refining. You can add. It gives you many, many more details, but it still keeps in this guy. I love Dr. Rashid. And then these are other features that it gives about that particular monkey you are interested in. Okay, so if you want, you can go advanced. And like I said, you can check out the, the default model is Flux or you can check the other ones. And once you are okay with this, you can just go ahead and say generate and give it some seconds and it's going to generate for you a perfect image of a monkey holding the, the card. Yeah, so you can see the precision, you can see very, very perfectly and you can see the text is what even uh, amazes me the most is the text that it has given us. I love to try sheet and the text is very, very nice. You can see it, 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 it captures the text exactly and you can see the prompt that it has um, given us. And then you can go ahead and download this if you're interested in downloading it and using it for your content creation or you can enhance it. Um, if you want to enhance it so you can download it from here um, and just click the download and you can see it's just been downloaded and you can see how clear this is uh, okay this is very very clear you can go ahead and use it for your content creation if this is uh, what you want um, because it's very very wonderful you can create the same thing using different models for example we can go back let's copy the same text but then we can vary the model Let's go back um, and then paste in here the description and, and then we can just go ahead and say um, advanced and then we can say let's use the stable diffusion and keep everything at default and just go ahead and say generate over here. Yeah, you can see um, this other one, uh, this stable diffusion. Um, I think the image also is not that clear. The image is not so good. And then the, the text also is not so, 
so good. You can see it has not actually spelled in incorrectly. So this is the difference. I think that Flux is one of, is the best so far in terms of image generation. We can you can we can generate wonderful images with that. So let me try to write in something. All right, I can say that um, I want the image of a lion in an office browsing with a computer and a cup of coffee. All right, so I, I can uh, I may want to have something like this, and if you want to refine the the prompt, you can go ahead and refine. But at this point, I want to use the model uh, ideogram. Let's see the difference that it is going to give us. All right, so let's go ahead and say generate. Let's see how simple and fantastic it can it can give you. Right, so the the key thing is for you to have an idea into what you want to create, and over here you can imagine anything and you can create anything as far as it is text to image. I give it up to this site, and the best model is the flux model. All right, so you know this is this is this is very wonderful. It has actually created what we want, and then this is the flux model. This is the uh, ideogram model. If you want, you can, let's try the same prompt, but then with uh, with the flux. Now you see the difference, okay, with flux. And probably we can say enhance or refine the prompt for us. So that, let's say, go ahead and say generate. And let's see what kind of image it is going to give us. Uh, you can see this is very very wonderful uh, this is this is great it has really created a wonderful thing the lion is in the office and you can see the cup of coffee and you can see the generation it is very very fantastic and the best part is it is very fast the generation is very very fast you can see this is very wonderful you can see the cup of coffee and you can see a very wonderful computer it is working on right so the key thing is go ahead and explore and see what you can do what you can generate on your own let me quickly try to credit one more hyper realistic image. So the prompt that I'm going to give is very direct. Selfie.jpg and let's go ahead and just click on generate. And we're going to be marveled by the kind of image or selfie image that it is going to generate for us. Very realistic. And even if you don't know, if I show you the image that it's going to generate, you will think that it is not generated by an AI and you can see it very very clear okay so you can see you can download this is a selfie image that you can enhance on your own and make it better okay it will just look like a random realistic camera uh, selfie okay and then you can do you may decide to uh, refine the prompt and make it better okay so let's generate this and let's see yeah, this is very, very interesting. And even if you are not told, you will actually think that this actually is not created by an AI. You can see the skin tone, you can see the smiles, and everything is very, very clear. Very clear and looks very, very much realistic. Okay, You can bring in um, images like this to other platforms and, and change it into um, a, vi a video with just one click. And this AI, AI image is very, very cheap. You can always upgrade and the price is reasonably okay. You can see um, you can start seven day trial and this is what you get uh, with just 9.9 .9 per month. This is what you get. It's very, very wonderful. You can just go ahead and give it a try and see what you can do. If you want the looks, you can try, but the premium one I think is good and it's worth trying. So I think this concludes this tutorial, this basic tutorial about the use of imagine anything using different models to create uh, images from text. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.